What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at Generations GDO Swerve. Uh, the GDO line of the Generations figures are just repaints of other Generations and Universe figures. Uh, they were only released in China or Asia, the Asian markets. Uh, this is a repaint of Sergeant Cup to be Swerve, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't have my cup open right now so I can't compare him. He does roll really nicely, as you can see. Um, yeah, he is a pickup truck, as you can see, kind of like an El Camino, kind of, not really, but a little bit. Um, the first thing I noticed was the tailpipe. As you can see, there's one white tip, and this is actually usually a hole. Like that. I was like, what the heck? And I found out the gun stores in there. And there are these holes, and it just clips in there, and it makes the other tailpipe. And I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, you can also detach the gun and clip it to these two clip points here. So you can have him rolling with a gun. It's an option. You can do it. And it doesn't like to come off. So yeah, he's just a pickup truck. Um, what's cool is on the cup figure, the windshield are all clear, and these are uh, tinted black. Same thing with the headlights, so it gives it a different, a cooler, you know, different look. He's not. He's actually pretty clean too. This is the only Kibli part you see. It's flat over here, which is cool. So yeah, let's take a look at. Let's transform him. Take the gun, put it on the side. Uh, he does also have this giant Autobot symbol on the hood. Um, so first, gonna come over here to the wheels and pull the wheels straight away from the figure, thusly. Then you're going to come over here and detach the doors. Like that. These are in there pretty good, so you just want to kind of wiggle them so you don't break them. Um, then I like to just come around here and rotate. You do have to do this later anyway, but I just like to get it out of the way now. You can only rotate them one way though, and I always rotate the wrong way the first time. So that's that. Next thing you're going to do is take the grill and kind of get your finger in there. i got to cut my fingernails. Kind of pull that away and that'll pop this, the hood up. And then kind of push the grill back. Then you just attach the whole hood section and the roof. And you're going to fold the windshield down. Now right here where this Autobot symbol is, you just kind of want to grip the whole thing and just start rotating. And this goes back. He's gonna keep rotating, and it kind of clips into place. It doesn't make a sound, but you see the grill will lock in, and this becomes the backpack. And he's hiding. He's shy. That will be his face, obviously. So we're gonna come over here to the legs, and you're just gonna first we'll eh, we'll split the legs. You can do this in any way you really want. Fold the tailgate down and then fold that whole section down, becomes the foot. Then you're gonna fold this section, which is on a ball for some reason. You're gonna fold that in. It shouldn't really be on a ball, because this is the way it's supposed to be, and this confused the crap out of me. We just wanna line this up so that when it goes, when it folds down, it goes in, and this will tab in like that, it just frictions, it becomes his knee. So again, fold down the tailgate foot, Fold this in, and just kind of line it up so it goes down. So, actually almost done. Don't mind me. So then we're going to come up here on the arms, and just kind of push the arms up. Just to even out the shoulders. The wheels I just kind of push up. You can kind of do whatever you want with them. And then just for the head, just gonna push it up to click it up. And there we basically have Swerve in robot mode. Uh, his gun is a long barreled sniper rifle, basically. It is the same gun that came with Cup. Um, it's on a 3mm clip with a ball as long as well as a 5mm. Peg. Um, you could 
store this if you wanted to across his back. Go on. Either thusly, which looks stupid, or you can turn it, which would, which looks a little bit better. He can hold it, obviously. It is kind of long for him. He doesn't really feel swervish, but I do have the upgrade guns for Cup. So whenever I do review Cup, uh, I have the third party upgraded guns, which look really cool. So he'll be getting those. So yeah, there he is with his gun. It is kind of long and weird for him, but whatever. It's a gun. It's there. He does have a new face. Which is swervish. Which is cool. I really dig the paint job of him with as swerve. Should have got my G1 swerve to show you the colors for comparison. Didn't grab it off the shelf. I'm sorry. It happens. But as far as articulation, head just swivels. Arms are 360 degrees. Um, they go up and down as part of the transformation. You just mostly want to keep them up. Upper bicep swivel, elbow, and the hands do rotate, but they're in they're hindered by these, the door panels, which are very ugly and the ugliest part of the figure by far. Hips are on balls. Upper thigh swivel, bends at the knee that far. And forward that far. He's actually got more forward than backwards, which is because of that, but it's a little weird, but. And then his feet are on a pivot and go forward and back for the transformation a hell of a lot. So it goes back pretty far and it goes all the way flat. To, well, it won't go all the way flat because of the knee right now, but it goes pretty damn far that way. And the feet pivot, which give him makes him incredibly stable, which I dig. So yeah, uh, I dig this guy. I think he's pretty cool. I love how stable he is with his feet like that. They're very wide, they're very long, very, very stable. So that's really, that's a really cool plus. Doesn't matter how wide you spread the feet, basically, he's still going to be stable. Because those wide, wide feet. Like I said, the only negative on this guy is the door panels just sitting on his forearms. It's really ugly, and it goes way past his hands, which is really dumb. They really don't like, but what are you going to do? And the gun doesn't really suit him too well, but I don't know, maybe he'll look cooler if I give him his uh, cups rifle too. We'll see. Um, I like the Autobot logo on the chest. I think that's cool. I like the I really like the paint job. I really like the fact that they tinted the windows to to uh, distinguish him more from Cup. I think that's awesome too. Overall, he's really cool. I dig him. Uh, if you see him, he is a uh, Toy Us exclusive since the GDOs are all Toys R Us exclusives. So, you know, you it sucks that you can only get him there, but I haven't really found too much trouble finding him. Size comparison real quick, here he is with Grind Rod. Here he is with Phantom. So he's a little smaller than him. As he hits my Dr. Pepper can. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's worth picking up. I do have all the GDO Deluxes and as of now, the Voyagers. And I think he's very cool. And I've said he's very cool too many times. He does have a giant backpack too, but it doesn't really get in the way that much. I think the forearms, the door panels on the forearms are a bigger hindrance to the figure. But yeah, if you do see this guy, He's worth picking up, especially if you like Swerve. I kind of dig Swerve. I think it's a cool character. So, there is. Uh, I'm pressing buttons on my camera that I shouldn't be. There is Generations 
GDO Swerve.